Our goal is to add units from this column for each book title. But the problem is the book title isn't in our sales table. We only have book ID. That means before we can calculate total units, we have to look up each book title, find the book ID, and then use that as the condition or criteria inside some ifs. Now we'll see the old school method, and then we'll see the Microsoft 365 new school method. Now if we're going to look up book title, we have to find a match in this range and then jump to the left to retrieve something. VLOOKUP can't do that without an array formula, but the INDEX function can easily do that. The array argument, those are the items we want to go and get and bring back to the cell. Now we're going to copy this formula, so we have to hit the F4 key to lock it, comma. Now we just need the row number and the perfect function to look up a book title and find the relative position within a list is the match function. Look up value, we're looking up as a relative cell reference the book title, comma. Look up array, those are all the books, F4 to lock it comma, and we're doing exact match. So 0, close parentheses, close parentheses. That's the quintessential formula to look up something and retrieve something to the left. Control Enter, copy it down. That's part one, look up book ID, F2 in the top cell. Now we use, after the equal sign, some ifs. The sum range, those are the values we want to add, F4 to lock it, comma. Criteria range 1, well, we need to look through all the book IDs, F4. Now we type a comma, and there it is in criteria 1, index and match. Now we come to the end, close parentheses, and that's our old school formula. Control Enter, copy it down. Go to the last cell and hit F2. Now notice a couple things. We had to use index and match to do look up left. We also had to lock all the cell references. All right, now the new school method. Remember, we have two steps. We have to look up the correct book ID, then use it inside of some ifs. Well, the new Microsoft 365 lookup function we're going to use is XLOOKUP. And it doesn't require two different functions to look up in a column and retrieve something to the left. Now look up value, we're looking up that book, comma, look up array. That's the column where we try to match whatever the lookup value is, comma, and the return array. Those are the items we want to go and get and bring back to the cell. Now the amazing thing about Microsoft 365 is if we don't want to copy the formula, instead of putting a single item in lookup value, we give it all the items. That instructs XLOOKUP to spill all of the correct book IDs. Not only that, but we don't have to lock any of the cell references because the formula from this one top cell will automatically spill. So I come to the end, close parentheses, and when I hit Enter, that is amazing. Now notice, any cell below the top cell is grayed out. Because the formulas don't live there, just the spilled values. If I want to edit the formula, I have to go up to the original cell where the formula lives, F2. Now the beauty of this is I didn't have to use two functions. I didn't have to lock the cell references. And I didn't have to manually copy it. Now that's our condition or criteria for inside of some ifs. Some range, highlight units. And I don't have to lock it comma, criteria range, comma. And it's because XLOOKUP is delivering six items spilled down the column inside of criteria one that will instruct some ifs to do a second calculation, adding for each one of the book IDs and spilling those values. Close parentheses. And now when I hit Enter, that is amazing. So in the old school formula, we use index and match to get the condition or criteria for inside of some s. Be sure to lock everything and copy the formula. It's just that easy. And we get to use XLOOKUP inside of some ifs.
Now, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to learn more about the difference between old school and new school formulas, check out these videos.